A sense of alarm is building among officials at the Justice Department and the FBI who are bracing for possible revenge prosecutions from the incoming Trump administration. NBC News reports that some civil servants who work on a government salary have proactively reached out to lawyers. That's according to three people with knowledge of their deliberations. They're worried about the effect of long and costly legal battles. Joining me here in studio, NBC News Senior Executive Editor for National Security, David Rode, who reported this story. Also with us, Glenn Kirshner, a former federal prosecutor and MSNBC legal analyst. It's good to have you here, David. A, a lot of DOJ staffers we had been hearing and you had been reporting uh, were saying there was some nervousness about what might happen, about, frankly, what has been said about the plans for going after people who they felt unfairly went after them. Uh, but how has the choice of Matt Gates changed the equation, or has it? It has, and that's the difference. There was worry about congressional investigations. Um, they expected that. But the, the choice of Gates, which was, I think, a real surprise to many people inside the DOJ, you know, signal everywhere. to everywhere, yes, that he, you know, he's a lawyer, but he's had no experience prosecuting cases. But most of all, he is a firebrand loyalist, a, a very vocal supporter of President Trump. And it's seen by people as a choice. It's someone who trusts, who Trump trusts, and someone who, given the ethics investigation, sort of owes Trump. Trump is sort of protecting him by giving him this new job just before the ethics report comes out. So it has raised fears that there could actually be criminal investigations and prosecutions by the Trump administration of career DOJ and FBI officials. How would you quantify or can you quantify the level of concern right now? I think it's limited. Um, people are worried about maybe in long investigations. A likely scenario is a special counsel is appointed who will look at all these investigations that could go on for years. People are not worried about actually somehow being convicted and sent to jail. They are adamant. One FBI official who's sorry, former FBI officials said we did everything above board, but this is a different world and that you have to prepare for something like this to be convicted. Trump can order the attorney general to investigate people. That's possible because of the Supreme Court's uh, immunity ruling this spring. But to be convicted, you need a judge to sign off that there is probable cause um, of guilt. And most importantly, you need a jury to convict. So there's not real fear of going to jail. It's more long, costly legal battles. Yeah, I mean, Glenn, uh, you know, again, they believe their work has been above board, as he said, leaving them in many cases just baffled about what criminal charges could even be brought against them. What kind of case could a Trump loyalist be able to bring or at least thinking about bringing? A vindictive case, a frivolous case, a case that is not supported by any evidence of which we are aware. Chris, we saw a preview of this in the first Trump administration when John Durham was appointed special counsel to do what? Investigate the investigators who investigated Donald Trump. And what do we know? That investigation produced two trials. Both trials were just soundly rejected by the jury with not guilty verdicts, prompt not guilty verdicts. And when you have a candidate like Donald Trump uh, make a pledge that he will be your retribution, this feels like it could be Donald Trump's revenge tour. So just the fact of lengthy investigations and prosecutions, even if they are vindictive and they are promptly dismissed by the federal uh, bench, it's still going to take a toll on people. So I do believe, Chris, that the federal judiciary, the trial court judges in Washington, D.C., where most of these uh, investigations will be run and cases brought, if any, the federal judiciary will stand as a bulwark against frivolous and vindictive prosecutions. But that doesn't mean people uh, won't suffer if they are put through having to defend against a frivolous prosecution. And we've heard from enough people um, who have talked about what it is, David, when when someone um, brings brings a lawsuit, a frivolous lawsuit. I mean, obviously, there is a cost, right? Even going and consulting with a lawyer may incur a cost if it actually came to the point where there were charges against them. That goes up exponentially. Pensions potentially could be at stake. And then the emotional cost and, and the fear that many people have expressed not just for themselves, but for their families. 
So in the first term, Andrew McCabe, he was the deputy director of the FBI, his pension was revoked. He's, I think, subsequently won. But that was a real shot across the bow to a lot of these civil servants who don't make that much money. Um, FBI agents have to work 20 years before they can get any kind of pension. So the worst case scenario here is that you're essentially deterring. It's a sign to people, do not investigate Donald Trump. If you do, you know, you'll pay a heavy cost for it. Um, I saw some of this already in the Mar-a-Lago investigation. No one wanted to work on that case. They all sort of hoped that Trump would turn the documents back into the government, but he didn't because they saw it as a lose-lose case, that you're, it's going to derail your career, and, and this is a dangerous thing because you should have people who want, when there's a legitimate investigation, you need FBI agents and prosecutors who will carry it out. Yeah. So Glenn Politico spoke to an attorney who represents some uh, Trump critics afraid of becoming targets of retribution. His advice, take a vacation overseas around the inauguration. I mean, but what does that tell us about, you know, seriously, how people are looking at this? And and I think a lot of that it does speak to, right, the emotional toll or the fear that some people have in not knowing what might happen. Chris, the good men and women of law enforcement who are given an assignment and, and, and um, directed to investigate possible crime where there's adequate predication, enough evidence to open that criminal investigation should not later find themselves retaliated against or, you know, being advised to flee the country to protect themselves. I mean, that is so corrosive to good government. And, you know, uh, but when you have Donald Trump not only saying he'll be your retribution, but pledging multiple times he'll even use the military to go after his political opponents. Uh, you know, it, it feels like an unconstrained Donald Trump can um, can really do a lot of damage to to the institutions that he will sit atop.